Hey guys, it's Renoria, back with another episode of SHIT! Not with a, back with another episode of SHIT. I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Lord Show with Pelican, and um, I said SHIT because I did not see that more well, and so I turned around. Anyway, um, yeah, when I last left off, we did a whole bunch of nothing, just killed everything around me so I could complete most of these side quests. Haven't done anything since just because I started this episode right after that. Um, in my last episode, I was also talking about South Park Stick of Truth um, and how I am on my second playthrough of it. So, finish that. Let's see, what else do I need to do? Let me collect the staves. Um, before I do that, uh, I'm trying to make my way up here to talk to Ragnall. Um, Anyway, so yeah, I was talking about Sick of Truth and the, uh, how you have to play that game multiple times to actually get everything in it. Um, so I mentioned that there was one uh, uh, trophy or achievement for uh, uh, not selling any of your items and becoming a hoarder. Well, the other one is for selling 300 items. I said $500,000 or something like that, but I was completely wrong with that. It's for selling 300, 300 junk items, and then there's another one for spending $500. Um, yeah, sorry, completely fucked up that. But anyway, uh, continue on. We're gonna go ahead and find Ragnall. Um, and as we go, I'm just gonna explore um, Himbar. Which, you know, it's kind of, it's the main entrance of Karndoom. You can go this way, I guess, but this way um, is the way that they make you go in the story, so whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, Karndoom, the Witch King's Palace, which, that place sucks. It looks like a place where you probably get tortured. Um, also, what we want to do is kill these priests so I can get these staves, which if you don't know what a stave is, it's like a knife. Um, and when you do this, you want to be really careful because there's um, trolls walking up and down and they'll attack you with these when your back is turned. It's happened to me quite often, and I would prefer it not happen again this time. I really love that volcano greenstone. Um, so, oh, also, we want to burn uh, not these uh, banners. Where are the banners we want to burn? Okay, we're coming up on them. Oh shit! Kind of walked right into this dude. Um. Anyway, uh, other games I've been playing, I ha games I've been playing have mostly been on PlayStation, just because I want to kind of finish everything I have on. I did not mean to attack you. Um, I want to try finishing like pretty much all my PlayStation 3 games, so that like you know when like majority of PlayStation 4 games start coming out, I'll be ready for it. Um, the Hobbit uh, game though is going to be on PlayStation 3. I can't wait for that game. I really can't. I love the, uh, well, the Hobbit, Le Lego Hobbit, let me rephrase that. I said the Hobbit video game. Um, the Lego Hobbit video game. Uh, Lego Lord of the Rings, love that game. What's the difference between these flags and those banners? Whatever. Or, but um, I love the Lego Lord of the Rings game. Great game. Um, almost a hundred percent of that. Um, I'm going to eventually. I just need uh, someone to help me with the uh, last two trophies I need. I need the one for completing a uh, mission in co-op and um, uh, uh, getting through the mines in 15 minutes or less because that shit is hard. Um, so hopefully I'll finish that soon. Burn, bitch, burn. Oh wait, I'm replacing them. I'm not burning them. Man, it would have been more fun to burn them. 
I am not a pyromaniac. I just really like fire. I know that's the definition of pyromaniac. Oh shit, that thing. So stay away from that thing. That, that, that should be pretty obvious. If you see, see anything that's walking around in a cloak like that, I would advise you to stay the hell away from that. Uh, unless, of course, you're a uh, really high level, then go for it. I could probably meet, beat him with Renoria. In fact, I probably did re beat him with Renoria. Um, he's a rare elite, so... Obviously, he can kill me. And I guess we'll go ahead and finish you. Um, let's see, what else do I need to do around here? Uh, the staves. We'll finish that one eventually. Crap, why do I keep walking straight into you guys? So is that supposed to be an orc on fire for the picture? That's what it looks like. Okay, continuing. So, yeah, I want to avoid him. Want to avoid him. God, that creepy fucking whispering. Um, let's see. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Honestly, if I can help it, I'm trying to avoid pretty much all the battles that really don't matter. So, I'll kill, like, so these guys, don't mind if I kill them just because it gives me the, um, it's for a slayer need, but, like, the hillmen really don't fucking matter to me. Because I have no reason to kill them, they don't offer me anything in return for me killing them. The only thing I can get is experience and money, which I guess is helpful, but I, I just don't want it right now. Uh, Wicked Dagger, which is another reputation item. Um, more of you guys. Sure. If you're in my way, I'll just get rid of you. So, other games that are out. I haven't played it yet, but I'm hoping to play it soon. Thief. Um, and Titanfall. I really want to play Titanfall. Fall, that shit looks amazing. Um, let's see, what else? Let's see. I don't know. My life has been nothing but, like, school for the longest time. Um, starting on a major project for school. Um, uh, one of our projects is recreate one of our uh, scene from like a movie or something. Um, I chose Dorian Gray, so if you guys haven't seen that, Dorian Gray with Ben Barnes, really a uh, good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a little bit different than the book. Book written by Oscar Wilde, if you don't know. I love Oscar Wilde's books, uh, stories. I, I think he's amazing. Um, the importance of being earnest. I once directed a play, uh, a play for that at school. Um, this is what I was looking for. But yeah, so Picture of Dorian Gray, probably one of my favorite um, stories use one of you two. Oh no not the 16 not the 16 uh the 11 yeah um but yeah so i chose dorian gray anyway because um one of my favorite scenes in um of all time really is the scene where uh he's getting his picture painted and it's really the start of his corruption uh when he meets really gets to know henry um and then Henry takes him to a bar and introduces him to the carnal pleasures of the world, which just turns him into a very simple guy. 
Um, and then at the when the uh, picture, painting's done, Henry Flag, uh, Henry Flag, you wouldn't sell your soul for real, would you? And then Dorian's like, yes, I would. And it's like, hmm, okay, that's bad. But anyway, yeah, so recreating that scene, doing a modern version of it. Um, main reason, because I live in modern times, and I'm not trying to find some old-fashioned uh, costumes for everybody. Also, because uh, instead of using a bar, I decided to use the pool at my uh, apartment because it has like a kind of cabana look to it. So I wanted to make it more like a, um, you know, a gr lot of girls in really skimpy bikinis, like some of the girls like hanging on different guys who are like drinking tequila and just wearing their shades in the pool. So more of a modern version of like carnal pleasure than the uh, old fashioned like version. So it's, hopefully I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be more, uh, really, really interesting. Another thing I was thinking about doing, but I'm probably not going to do it just because it's going to, um, because, um, I just don't feel like doing it. I was going to do, instead of, um, a painting, I was going to, um, make it, God, why won't you go down? Die already. She's about to kill me. Please don't kill me. Holy shit! That was bad. That was terrible. That was so messy of me. Okay, so... Why did I attack her anyway? I really didn't need to. Um... So yeah, okay, what I was talking about was, um... Instead of painting, I was gonna make it, like, a sort of digital art form. Like, have him have a, uh... Like, more of a dish... I'm trying to explain this, a digital, a digital portrait sort of thing, like drawn on a computer and everything, but uh, I'm, the, I'm the one who's going to actually draw out the picture, and I'm fucking lazy, so um, instead do of doing that, of I'm going to just take a picture of whoever my actor is, and the Moravel has se seen you, I must flee, yay, I'm getting attacked by more Moravel. And so, yeah, I'm going to take a picture and just use um, Photoshop to make it look like a sketch because I am i have no time to draw, draw out whoever's going to be my, um, my actor. Like, maybe a while ago I already had an actor for, um, and I could have drawn it, like, through the um, spring break, but we're not doing cast and call until after spring break, so... I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, I'm just going to take the easy way out for that. Not like anyone's going to really notice. It's the 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 uh, assignment's more about how uh, how I am going to be as the director and how my partner is going to be as a cinematographer than really uh, about how they're acting and how the sc scenes really really look. So um, I'm not too worried about that. Now, next guy. I need one more stave. And the broodlings. I guess we're gonna deal with the broodlings here, too. Ugh. I hate going into that fucking lair. I just noticed, I've been cussing a lot lately. Um, I have no clue why. Come on, where are you? Like getting attacked by either one of you. Oh well. Take you. Um. But yeah, so I'm direct. So that's the scene I'm directing, and then the scene that I'm going to be the cinematographer for for is um, my partner chose uh, a scene from Blade Runner, which the first time I watched it was with him when we were we were meeting for our scene. Um, I never seen Blade Runner before that, and yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, not really, well, kind of my favorite movie, kind of not. Um, I don't know. Um, 
I'm not saying it was a bad movie. It definitely wasn't a bad movie. It was actually really good, but um, it's it's kind of it's kind of like one of those movies I just wouldn't see by myself. Um, like just all automatically be like, oh hey, I feel like watching Blade Runner. Not really. Um, but yeah, you know, if a friend of mine was like with me and they were like, hey, let's watch Blade Runner, then I'd be like, okay. I'm not going to complain about it, that, so. Um, where are we now? Okay, I know where I am. Not dealing with you right now. Not going to deal with you right now. I want you. And big ass spider. Why is there always a big ass spider right next to a priest? Don't attack me, don't attack me. Fuck, he attacks me too. So yeah, what type of movies do you guys really like? Like, what movie do you have that... Oh shit! I'm not gonna fuck. Tree now. So, here's the bad thing. When you die... You're sent all the way over here. What type of bullshit is that? Ugh. I am at your service. Yeah, whatever. Not really happy right now. Um, so yeah, what type of movies do you guys like really like? Like what's your movie that you um you'll just put in if you're in a bad mood or something, or just need really, really need something to watch and calm down with. Um, for me, my major one is, of course, Lord of the Rings. Um, if I'm bored, then I'll just put that in. Um, also, like I said, I'm a huge DC fan, so Batman movies and stuff like that, um, Justice League uh, cartoons, always up for a good superhero movie. Um, yeah, for some reason, Avengers never really... I've never been much of a uh, Marvel person, so, like, Avengers and X-Men, not something I just put in all of a sudden. I don't know why. But for DC characters, I absolutely love. I don't know why. Um, if I go this way, that's not the way I want to go. I wonder if that fall would kill me. No, okay, there's a path. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, that is the way I want to go. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, DC, DC uh, movies always make me happy. In fact, I can't wait until the next DC uh, movie I really, really want to see. It's uh, Son of Batman. And, yeah, it's going to feature Damian Wayne as... Robin. I can't wait. I have the comic book. Um, I, I, I'm just so excited for it. It looks like it's going to be amazing. It's so adorable how they made Damien. Um, I mean, of course, Damien is the asshole to begin with, but I, I think just like just seeing the kid like moving and just being like that is just so amazing for me. Uh, okay, I can't believe I died and I have to walk all the way fucking around. Um, so yeah, let's see. I said Batman movies, of course. Um, like I said, Lord of the Rings. What other movies can I just put on and be happy with? Um, I'm a huge Gundam fan, so I have the, I have Gundam Wing, like all the um, episodes of that. So putting that in once in a while just makes me happy. Um, uh, I noticed all of my movies are action movies. I don't have any, I'm not a huge romance fan, so, uh, which kind of disappointed my, uh, teacher when I told her I was doing Dorian Gray. Originally I was going to do, uh, the scene from, uh, Red Hood where, uh, 
where uh, Jason is trying to get Batman to kill the Joker. Uh, so I really wanted to do that, but uh, we have a rule at our school now that we are not allowed to feature, feature guns in our stuff anymore. Just because last year uh, a couple of people got arrested for um, their videos because, like, they it, like they were all fake weapons. But uh, one guy, he he was the actor actually. He um, walking around with an uh, airsoft pistol, and because he was real. Um, Someone called the cops and he was arrested, so we don't want any more uh, legal issues like that anymore, so we're not allowed to have guns in our, our, our shows anymore, which sucks so badly. So I couldn't do um, Red Hood because, like I said, main feature in that is the gun, uh, which, you know, Jason's handing to Bruce and being like, hey, you know what, kill him. So, um... Yeah, that was sad, but so, she, my professor, she originally wanted me to do, make, to try doing a romantic comedy, because she never seen me do anything, like, romantic any, uh, before, but I just couldn't find something that I wanted to do for a romantic comedy, like, I think the m most romantic comedy I really like was uh, Eurotrip. So, I mean, I like a couple more, but it's it's not really my thing. So I just decided to go with Dorian Gray because I like more mystery and darker stuff and more action stuff usually. Um, even Dor though Dorian Gray really is an action, it's still more, it still has that dark, mysterious air to it. Um, but I'm thinking it should be good anyway. Um, let's see, so I've got all the saves, so now I want to go to the bootlings. Wait, did I already have all the saves? I wasn't keeping count. Yeah, five saves, okay. No. No, I didn't already have them. Sweet. I don't want to be attacked by any more spiders or just no one attack me. God damn it. God. So, um, so if, here's the question. If you could recreate any movie, book, uh, anything you, uh, you could direct it and, you, you know, just make it the way you want to, what would it be? Um, for me, uh, it's hard to say, um, for a recreation, hmm. uh, huh. I could not say, I'm trying to think of a book that I may like that doesn't have a movie or something, um, Like, picture Dorian Gray, uh, since they just made a new one, I, I wouldn't recreate that just because I do, I do like the new version of, that they made of it, um, but for, let me see, what other books are there that I really like? Um, of course, Hobbit, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, uh, would never touch those, those movies are fine just the way they're they're nearly perfect just the way they are um i would like to do a nancy drew movie i am a huge nancy drew fan and that's including the games the uh books um but i did not like the movie that they made um the most recent movie that i made it, it was okay for like kids and everything but honestly i think that they could have made it a little bit more. Like, I, I just don't like the way they made Nancy. I mean, I know Nancy is a really, really good girl and everything, but they made her a little too 60s. Like, 
they it, they just made her it made her seem like this girl who like traveled in time to the future in my mind so i was just like no nancy Drew can be a modern girl and she can still be a really really good girl so yeah didn't like the the nancy Drew movie that they made um you know, actually, you know what I would remake? Uh, I have all the old Sherlock, black and white Sherlock Holmes movies and uh, and uh, episodes and stuff like that. I would make a new, uh, well, wait, there is a new Sherlock. Sc scratch that, I want to make a new Sherlock easier. Fuck, I completely forgot there was a new Sherlock. I don't know how I forgot about that. I've seen all the episodes. Huh. Why hasn't been remade yet? Oh, here's something. Um, there was supposed to be a Nightwing show or movie or something. I, I would like to be a part of that if they ever do make that. That would be awesome. So here's the little spider slayer that I was talking about that I really didn't want to get into. And shit! Holy shit! Okay, I'm not gonna live out of this. Okay, run, run, run. Fuck that. Ugh. Did not notice the ton of spiders chasing me. Uh, and I don't want to just spend my whole time killing spiders. Ugh, there's still two of you, and I'm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these guys and meet back up when I'm killing broodlings. How about that? So be back in a moment, guys. Okay, finally made it to these fucking little bitches over here. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have so much fun killing them. It was so annoying to try to find these guys. Well, not find them. I knew where they were, but like, get to them. So yeah, like I said, about to have fun here. Oh, and I have an idea. Let's just stand right here and do this. Probably don't even have to do anything. Just stand here and let them take it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. Just stand in a big crowd of them and use one of my uh, you use one of my group uh, skills to just attack them all. There we go. See you next. So yeah, these guys, not very tough, as you can tell. It's just a hassle trying to get to them. And stand here again, and just let you guys run right into this wall of fire. And just let you take it. You too. Well, this guy is going to be my last one, it looks like. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I can't beat you. Nope, 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 not happening. Screw you. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Sc Stop chasing me. No hard feelings, it was just a fucking job. There we go. Okay, so I mentioned one movie. I was talking about what movie or book or something I would like to remake. Uh, and I... I think I figured out what might be fun to remake. Uh, do any of y'all remember Animorphs? I don't know why I thought about it, but I was like, that might be fun to remake. Um, and I've, I've been watching a lot of like old 90s stuff, so... That, let me see, what else would... What else might be fun? Um, see, there was Animorphs... Uh, 
Uh, see, I would say Power Rangers because I've been watching that recently, but they've just been adding new Power Rangers to, you know, as time went on, so I don't think I would touch that either. Uh, like there's Power Rangers Ninja something, Power Rangers Samurai, Power Rangers Jungle Force or something like that. So yeah, that's not something I think would really need to be touched. Um, what else is there? Hi! You guys are gonna kill me! What else is there I, I could say? Um, there we go. Fuck it. Just, just kill me. I don't care anymore. Um, retreat now. I could revive myself. I don't know why I just keep retreating. I am at your service. Why, thank you. Well, you know what? I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know I've been kind of a failure recently just because uh, I haven't played this in a while. And, and I guess I'm just kind of out of... I'm just kind of out of play right now. I, uh, I don't know what's up with me. That and my splitting headache. But um, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another episode as soon as possible. Bye, guys.